so in this video we will learn about a new component which is called accessory view component and this component is specifically designed for iOS devices so it's a special type of component which uh, always stays on the top of the keyboard so whenever you toggle the keyboard you can see it attached on the top of the keyboard and you can assign any input relation uh, customization functionality to that button and remember one thing that it uh, only works with the iOS devices it will not work with the Android devices so create a react native project and open it in visual studio code and I already opened the iOS simulator and you also need a iOS simulator to test the app so let me just import the text here and input accessory view also input text okay so we will be creating an app where there will be a text input in which user can enter any information and we talk and when whenever we toggle the keyboard there will be a button attached to that keyboard and it will be called clear text so whenever user press clear text the uh, data will be deleted from the uh, text box you do not need to uh, press the uh, delete button of the keyboard multiple times you can directly use this button so first of all let me just create a state for the information let's say info set info by default it will be an empty string now this is the most important part you need to create a unique ID which you can assign to any text input so take uh, this ID we will be using in two places in the text input and the uh, input accessory view component so that the uh, uh, device can understand that these both component are correlated so it will only work with the component which uh, which have same uh, input accessory view ID let me just save it as ID text input first of all the placeholder Yes, and any information. Then on change text, whichever text is the input, we will be saving this in set info. the value of this text input will be info itself let us provide styling I already created the input let me just change it to let's say yellow okay so now we need to uh, provide this uh, input accessory view ID over here so we set input accessory view ID to the uh, ID that we have created over here Now let us create the function. I 
other than we will be creating a button title of that button will be clear text on press event arrow function we will be setting the information back to the empty string so what have i done here is i've created a state for the info which user enters uh, via this text input we have created input accessory view id which we are using over here and we also need to assign this here in the native id and we created a button so this button will now be part of this input accessory view this is our special button that we have created it will stay on the top of the keyboard every time you toggle and when we press on clear text it will clear the text input let me just save it as you can see we have clear text attached to the keyboard now let me just type anything let's say my design now if i press clear text it should remove the text as you can see it works perfectly fine let me write so this is basically how you can create a special type of component called input accessory view it's just like an accessory attached to the pre-built component and remember one thing you cannot use this component with android devices you can only use this with ios devices it is specially designed for ios devices so that's it for this video thanks for watching it